Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then welcome. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I've been styling my hair on this blowout look, which I've been loving recently and I've been using for the past maybe like two or three weeks, using this, this amazing tool. This is the Bondi Boost Blowout Tool and I've absolutely been loving it and I honestly think everybody should have one, so... I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how I use mine. It only takes me 10, 15 minutes max to do my hair and it's just great. So if you wanna know how to recreate this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, I've been using this like microfiber towel from like Naughty, this like, um, what, is that, what are they called? Yeah, Naughty. Um, I feel like, Apparently it's supposed to be like better for your hair. It gets more moisture out without kind of like rubbing your hair or anything. So I've been using that. And then obviously a tangle teaser. The, if you don't have one of these, you, you need one. Like they are just the best. So I'll go in and just detangle all of my hair. The most important thing that we're going to be using is bad boy. This heat protection spray is amazing. I've used a lot in the past, but this one also helps with shine as well. So I like to put quite a lot of this on just to protect my hair. So I'm gonna go over on this side. I think that's enough. I'm running low on that actually, so I need to get some more. And then just brush through your hair again just to make sure it's all gone through i have also been using this looks a little bit battered but this is the they pronounce it just four um this is the all-in-one oil and i'll just take a good two pumps of that and then massage that into the ends of my hair because the ends of my hair are quite dry i've also been kindly gifted Another four product, which is the foolproof finish, like a fixing mist. So I've just been spraying that on as well, just to try and hold things together throughout the day because I don't know about anybody else, but my curls don't seem to hold for very long. Even though I have like naturally curly hair, it just kind of does what it wants. So we're going to part in the hair. Side part in roughly about here, and what I like to do is just kind of roughly blow dry my hair, but more fo focusing on the roots because I feel like the blowout tool is more focused like on the ends. So we're just going to quickly do that. <laughs> dry I'm going to section my hair normally in around three sections so I'll just hold that all up I'm just going to brush this out again here she is so we we have three settings here so we have like a cool setting uh, medium setting and then like a hotter setting. I always use the hotter setting just because my hair is quite thick. What you want to do is brush away from your face. So on this side I'll be brushing this way to the end and then rolling it up and then just keeping it there and then just keep doing this kind of motion. So I'm just showing you without it being on at the moment because it's going to get loud. And I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me, so I just want to just keep doing this just to curl the end and then it'll end up nice and curly. So I'll turn her on.
so that's just perfect. perfect. So we can do the same for the other side, so because it's the other side we're going to twist it again. Oh, so much hair. I'm going to twist it away from the face, so this way. And then again, the same kind of motion again. So let's hit it with the next side. So kind of like half of that that was left at the top. Swizzle that around. And then basically just do the same that you did before. But going forward now, I'm going to take like smaller sections, but just the same, the same principle. <laughs> frizzy but we'll sort that out afterwards when I've got this far so obviously we've nearly finished I'm just going to go in and spray this again and that'll just be to get a little bit more definition so I feel like the most important part is the front part so this is the wispy part that everybody kind of wants and the blowout so I'm going to show you how to do it this could probably be better but I just I'm just showing you what I do and I'm obviously just self-taught so we don't want any of these longer bits in here so you just want the front kind of shorter bits that you have so same principle so you want to take it back crazy but give it a minute oh I mean is that not just the dream I mean <sighs> that's perfect so we're gonna spray this because we don't want that to move now let's do the rest of the hair honestly that's like my favorite bit We're a little bit frizzy at the top. Again, I'm just going to go in with this spray and spray that at the top. And again, just all over. I feel like we need an extra, I'm just going to put an extra light on because it's gone a bit dark. Is that a little bit better? Can you see? And that's how I've done it, but you can always like go over the little bits. So I do think I'm just going to go over this little bit here at the bottom because I don't feel like it's very. Yeah, there's not really much to that. So we're just going to go over that again. <laughs> To be 
honest, I can't believe I didn't get one sooner because they're so good. They're so easy to use and I think it looks really cute. Love it. This, like I said, this is my favourite part of the way. It just kind of just, oh, I just love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So I have been using the Bandai Boost, the blowout tool. It's one of the best things that I've ever used on my hair. It's absolutely great. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it's helped you out and we'll be back for some more. Thanks for watching. Bye.